All right, here we go. We're actually on the desktop now. I went ahead and opened up Caden Live, and we're gonna go ahead and add our files and get going. So I'm gonna go here. Um, it automatically opens to my project folder. So I'm gonna select the two clips. This one's for the video camera. This is actually an OBS recording with all my audio settings. So we'll add those in. We'll go ahead and get the first clip, which we'll see how that goes. In this video, <laughs> yeah, that's it's awesome. So we go ahead and leave In that. In this video, I'm going over Caden Live. So there's the audio off the camera. Now, most people would say, ah, oh, that sounds okay. To me, it sounds a little tinny, not as deep and, and clear and crisp as I want. So we're going to go ahead and add this one in. Now, as you see, the audio doesn't match up. Well, it's easy. You just hit an audio reference, a line. And then from here, our Yeti input is now lined up with our video. We'll go ahead and split this audio, ungroup it, delete, and then we simply group the clips. And now we should have a good sounding video. And how I do my videos. Uh, many people say you can't edit a video. Well said. Now, very crisp, a little more deepness to it, not so tinny and hollow. Um, from here, we just go ahead and chop the ends off. Chop that off and pull that in and zoom out a little, chop off the ends. Boom, all right, so we're good here. This is the raw clip. We're gonna go ahead and render. Whenever rendering, make sure you click more options and your thread count set one below what your system's capable of. So I have an eight core 16 thread system. I like to leave one thread open just for system processes and other things and 15 dedicated to actually doing the processing. So we're gonna go ahead and click render this file and I'm gonna speed this part up so you're not waiting here looking at a status bar for one minute and 30 seconds. all right yay it is finished so from here we'll just clean up close um i'll delete these and you can hit the plus sign i'm just going to drag the untitled on here we're going to go ahead and get my in screen and my intro drag it in here and we'll go ahead and start the chopping process so and i'm about to show you how i do it in that time frame all right please do all right let's get zoom in hold control mouse wheel uh, let's chop up about equal on each parts, delete the excess, and then we drop our intro in. This is just a standard intro you see on all my videos, and I like not sharp cuts, so we're gonna do fades from black and to black at the very beginning. Uh, we want to go ahead and make sure this is not when I'm talking, that it's just darkness. So we'll just bring those fades in and test them out it in that time frame boom so I actually, I actually perfect so there we go our intro is set we've already chopped up that section of the video um, and uh, if there's any other jump cuts we want to do in here like you'd look for long you know whatever it might be just pauses when you have those pauses in the video it just takes away from the flow and the tempo and people get bored and click off you. So let's see if I can find something here on my Windows. So let's see, let's do a jump cut. I hit X to do the cut cool, S to select, delete, drag it in. So let's see what that looks like. Premiere on my Windows Space Machine. Premiere on my Windows Space Machine. A little bit of a harsh cut, a little more than I like. So let's let's take that back a little bit. Undo, Control Z. And let's zoom in a little more. Maybe we can do a better cut. See if we can hit a little more of a valley, maybe a little more of a pause between. Mirror on my window space machine. Mirror on my window space machine. <laughs> Not a good jump cut. I usually would take this out, but for this video, we're gonna go ahead and leave it in. So you're gonna see that at the start. And you're gonna be like, ah, but that's what's going on. Actually, let's actually see. started in Premiere. Let's see if there's any other long pauses. Now, when I move to Linux, now, now everything looks pretty good. Now, a lot of times I like to cut out like ums and uhs and, when, you know, just it happens when you're naturally speaking uh, just like that right there. I just said, uh, 
it's just part of making a video so if you really want to have a really tight flow you could go through and hit all these i usually leave them in unless i'm just out of it that day and it's just excessive and it takes away from the content most times it doesn't so i just leave it in um but that's basically how i do my videos uh let's move on to the next thing here well um i record so there's a good um i love it i need to get better at speaking and the more you cut these out the more uh work you have but the end result is you will stop saying that because you get tired of editing it that, though i record two different that's a good cut uh that's what we want out of a good jump cut uh let's move on to dissolves let's take our end screen let's say we've cut this up enough and for the most part we have i could honestly not do any of these cuts i'm just mainly doing it for this video so i uh, just know that i like to zoom in a little and i usually give about a second at the end for that and then i click in the bottom light uh bottom left and dissolve it. To it and that would be a dissolve now i'm gonna actually dissolve into this clip after i'm done recording here but that is a basic dissolve cuts fades uh, a lot other things I like to do is speed up clips. So there's going to be a section in this clip where I'll actually do a cut, have that independent clip, and then just drag and drop speed on gain. Let's say you record on a crappy microphone and you need to up that gain. Or let's say something happens and your microphone's real quiet or it's way too loud. You'd top, drop gain into here and then you would adjust accordingly and say hey i want to go ahead and do 200 percent my audio because it's too quiet or maybe 50 percent of your audio if it's like that other little ticks, uh, tips and tricks here is if you have pops some people don't have pop filters or for whatever reason there's a big clank what i like to do is just cut that sound and then take my gain and then drop that gain way down and it just makes that big pop just almost disappear from the clip and most people don't ever notice it unless you really really search for it so those are my main effects i do as i record auto mask it's if i'm blurring out like personal information that might be on the screen during a video and this is really what i stick to my bread and butter occasionally i'll drop into here for some other ones but you know, if there's something in here, you can just right click and say, hey, add it to the favorites. And that way you're not constantly searching for stuff. And that's how I mainly do my videos. This one right here, I think is about 10 minutes. I'll probably spend another five minutes on this to get about 15 minutes worth of edit time. Hit record and then start uploading and doing my normal YouTube things such as SEO and uh, all other really boring, tedious stuff, but important nonetheless. So with that said, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and leave the video. Let me know in the comments if there's something else you'd like to see. I like to kind of hit things fast and heavy and then leave it alone. Uh, I don't like over explaining simplistic topics, but if there is something or maybe I skimmed over something that should have been covered more in depth, let me know and I will do that. And with that said, I'll see you on the next video.